Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today, you've probably noticed this mop on top of my head. And yes, this is my hair. Um, guys, uh, this video today is going to, I think, be personal to a lot of different people. And this is going to be a video that's part of a uh, several several different videos I'm going to do about this product. And Guys, you know, I haven't done a lot of men's grooming and, and um, uh, videos on the channel. You know, I do my cologne reviews, my watch reviews, products, Farnham Tech cars, that kind of stuff. But, you know, when it comes to grooming, it's pretty tough for me to want to put myself out there or something like that because I almost feel like there's an arrogance involved when you're telling other guys or other people what they should do. What I'm here to tell you guys is not what you should do, but I want to review uh, this product over the next couple weeks and give you guys my honest opinion on what I think about it. Now, I'm gonna touch base on a very personal aspect of myself. Um, I have always been pretty self-conscious, uh, especially in the last, I'd say, 10 years, 12 years of my hair. Uh, you know, as we get older, men, uh, you know, affects a lot of us, we start to lose our hair. And now, fortunately, um, I am, and I'll, I'll be personal with you guys, I am 42 years old. Uh, I don't I have never disclosed that on my channel, but I just turned 42 uh, a couple months ago. And so, you know, one thing that's kind of been a difficult thing for me to, I guess, start to accept is the fact that, you know, I have lost more of my hair than I had, uh, you know, when I was in my 19, when I was 19, 20. And I always used to wear my hair pretty short for the most part. And so it wasn't as noticeable until I really started to get older and some people started making some comments about it. Plus, at my last job where I worked, I was under really bright and fluorescent lights. So finally, you know, the skin just builds up where you get tough enough where you just accept at some point what you got, be happy that you still got something, and, you know, just go with it. Try to, you know, be the best that you can be, you know. And so with that being said, I'm always on the hunt for a product that will help to give me some volume. Now, unfortunately, you know, I obviously, you know, and we don't have the bright lights on right now, but you can see that my hair is... I mean, it's obviously, you can probably tell even in this lighting that it's it's fine. It's really fine. It's I've always had super fine hair. I mean, you know, I've always said that if I had my volume of hair, the amount of hair follicles that I have, it, with the consistency of or the texture of my beard or a thicker follicle, it would be a lot easier to maintain style and, and, and be ultimately happier with. Uh, but unfortunately, not only do I have more of a thinning hair, which I think that, you know, at this point, uh, you know, it hasn't really in the last five years gotten, five or six years, I'd say, gotten any worse. Um, I don't know if a lot of it was stress-related at some things uh, in my life that happened when I was young, you know, like, you know, I guess maybe my, my early 30s, and, uh, you know, and, and everybody deals with stress differently. Uh, there's lots of reasons on why. They say that um, hair loss comes from um, the female side of the family. Uh, my Everybody in my family, for the most part, has always had a lot of hair. Uh, but, you know, my dad has really fine hair. Uh, my my grandmother always had really fine hair. So, unfortunately, I got, you know, not only do you get the thinning part of it, but you get the, um, um, and, you know, as far as, you know, God, we are being very personal right now, but I want to give you guys a fair review of this product when I actually use it. And I'm excited to try it. But, you know, for the most part, when I look at pictures when I was younger, my hairline hasn't really... Uh, receded all that much but it's just that I don't have as much hair as I used to have when I was naturally in my 20s and because my hair follicles are so fine they're so thin uh, it's really tough to manage because obviously you can see right now you know I got out of bed and this is what my hair looks like uh, if I didn't have any product in it which there is residual product from the other day but I mean it just doesn't really do anything I mean you really have to weight it down I tend to use volumizing shampoo. Um, I hate, like at this point right now where my hair starts to get long on the sides here, I always do the shave part, uh, which I tell you guys, when I get, when you, I don't know about you guys, but when I get a fresh haircut, I feel like a new man, I feel like a million bucks. When we start to get to this five week point, uh, this is where I'm just like, oh man, that's why, you know, I just, I'm not turning these bright lights on right now. But you know, it's, it's great to get trimmed up. Generally what I will do is I will, um, use a volumizing shampoo and I use two different shampoos. I use one by L'Oreal, which helps to supposedly, you know, and all these, there's so many products out there when it comes to skincare and hair care and all this different stuff, but I've had pretty decent luck with what I get from that product. Um, it's a it's a L'Oreal volumizing shampoo. It, tell, it gets the gel and grime out. Um, I wash my hair every single morning before I, you know, leave the house, of course. Um, normally I wouldn't be caught dead 
looking like this, <laughs> but but uh, it's for the purpose of the video today. Uh, but and then on top of that, I found a pretty good product uh, by a company called uh, Cremo, which I've reviewed their brand on the channel before. They're super cheap, really affordable. You can get them in, like Target, Walmart, and I use their hair uh, after that shampoo. With the first shampoo, I use the second shampoo. Uh, for thinning hair. And what that does, it really makes my hair like squeaky clean and it really dries it out. And you get a lot of different stories. Now I'm not, you know, a, a, a barber or, you know, a beautician or anything like that. There's lots of people out there with a lot more knowledge than me. I can only tell you what I find works for me and makes me feel as good as I could possibly feel with what I'm working with. And so I find that when my hair is really, I mean, really squeaky clean, it feel like the product penetrates more uh, when I when I use gel. And a lot of guys will say, you know, and you see a lot of great channels on here. And, and Aaron Marino, he's the brain behind uh, Pete and Pedro at his com or his company. I don't believe he's running it anymore. But if you look at a guy like that, and a lot of these guys that you see on Instagram, and a lot of these guys that you see, you know, on YouTube talking about men's care and grooming, a lot of them have amazing hair. And what's gonna work for one person is not gonna work. Like what they, their recommendations, what they use, for the most part won't work for me because my hair is so thin and fine that if I don't wait, if I put like a product in there, they say like use low shine, use products that don't clump together like heavy gels, which I've always tend to use really thick, heavy gels. I find that when I use anything but a thick heavy gel, yes, it does make the hair look even thinner. It does make the hair clump together. But if I didn't use anything like that, I would walk outside, roll the window down once, and my hair would be all over the place looking like this beautiful mess that you see right here. So, you know, th there's different things got to work for different people. But I did reach out to them because... Um, well, one, they do, have, you know, he does have fantastic hair, and I would like to try some of the products that he recommends. And I know um, that I've heard about products like the sea salt spray by lots of, lots of companies make that. Um, and so I reached out to Pete Pedro, now getting to the point of the video, <laughs> and uh, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it is personal. It is a, and I'm sure, you know, the trolls will come out the woodwork, but, you know, what's most important is really being happy with yourself and feeling good about yourself. And, uh, you know, that's really, I mean, the, the best advice I can give anybody on that is just try to, you know, make the best of what you got. And, you know, I mean, yeah, if I curled out of bed like this, just said, oh, well, fuck it. You know, I, I didn't get blessed with the most amazing uh, Aaron Marino hair or, or Instagram model hair. I should just not do shit with it and shave it off. Well, I don't believe in that. I feel like you'd always try to, you know, make yourself look your best. And what's most important is that the whole world tells you that, you know, that's not, you know, that, oh, you should try this, you should try that. What's really important is what makes you happy. So, uh, on to the product. So, there's a couple different products they sent me, one of which, the one I really wanted to try that I'm excited about is the Pete and Pedro Sea Salt Spray. And this is supposed to give you a lot more volume and texture. I mean, I know in the times of my life where I have been on the beach, uh, after you go swimming in salt water, it definitely tends to um, do something different to your hair. Uh, it definitely tends to, I've always found, to give it more volume. And anything that can give, if you have thin hair, like, and I don't just mean thinning, but a really fine hair follicle, anything you could do to pump it up, plump it up, um, I think is a is a win-win. So this is supposed to do that. It's supposed to give your hair volume and texture. And for those of you, if you are, have hair like mine, uh, we can use all the volume and texture uh, that we can get. Uh, and so it's supposed to also give you, again, volume, texture, and a soft hold. Uh, which we're going to layer this, on, which is what they recommend on the website. What a lot of guys I've seen using this stuff with their fabulous hair. <laughs> um, use this as a kind of a, a base. So what I'm going to do when I test this product today, now I do need a haircut, and that's why I want to come back uh, after uh, next week. I'm going to go down and see my, my hairdresser and get, get, get trimmed up, uh, get my fade on, and I'll come back and re-review it. Now I also... And I, I'm being honest with you guys, I also dye my hair every time I get a haircut. So every five weeks, I dye my hair. What I found is well, not only am I starting to get gray, <laughs> you know, not a lot. I get more of it in my beard. I have some on the sides here, but as the hair gets longer and it's not all shaved and clean, uh, you can see the gray more. So I, I always tend to dye my hair, but the main reason why I dye my hair is because it it's definitely adds a layer of fullness. It definitely helps to beef up the hair follicle, to give it a little more plumpness and give it texture. And there is a night and day difference right after I get my hair cut and um, you know, she uses the texture shears, and then I go ahead and, and, and you know, give it a good hair wash and cleaning, and then dye it. There's a huge difference right after that. My hair just feels a lot fuller, it looks fuller, it just looks like I have more, and it looks like it's a lot thicker. Uh, as we start to get to this point, this is where I'm like, that, that, 
that that roller coaster starts to come down and I'm like I need to go see her get cut up and do my routine so uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try this uh, today and I'm gonna layer they say that the well let me start with the, the other um, product they sent me was the putty and I was gonna get the pomade but I, I want to try something because I haven't tried a putty or a clay before and first impression on this stuff um, they smell fantastic. I mean, you smell like you just came out of a salon. It's a really high quality odor. I mean, I've smelled some creams and pastes uh, and, and pomades and gels that you can get, you know, over the counter at Rite Aid and whatnot. And I, I be honest with you, the, the, the only products that I've really found that I tend to use quite a bit is this really crummy, it's it doesn't have an odor, but it's super thick, it's called Gorilla Snot. And that's like one of the only things I've found that can really just keep my hair in place. Otherwise, like I said, I go out, roll down the windows, and this is what, what I'll look like. So I am curious to see what this stuff does. I also have had luck using the Cremo Thinning Hair Gel, uh, but what I've done is I've been layering that with the Crew Pomade, which I need to get more of that. Because for whatever reason, when I put a little pomade, I emulsify it in my hands on damp hair, rub it in, get it all into the hair, and then I'll go ahead and use that gel. And it seems like the two of them kind of react a little bit, and it really gets the hair very thick, and it, it, it definitely kind of plumps it up. Again, you know, you're not going to look like you're going to, I mean, for somebody like me, I'm not going to look like I have, you know, the, the Aaron Marino hair. It's just never going to happen. It's not in my genetics. Uh, so I found, you know, for the products that work for me, that those tend to work as I ran out of the pomade and my hair starts to get... Uh, longer like this where it needs to be dyed and cleaned and uh, and, and cut I tend to use the girl snot just because it's so thick and I don't use a lot very a little bit goes a long way but it does tend to keep my hair in place uh, yes it does separate so it doesn't look uh, even as I mean this doesn't look pretty right now at all, but even now it's it looks thicker than it does when I put gel in it but um, it is what it is so I, I'm excited to try the putty and the clay now you would think that the clay would be um, like a thicker hold. Uh, they say that the putty is actually a thicker hold and when you open this stuff up you can see it's more like a creamy texture or it looks creamy. It smells fantastic. Uh, I think they're, I almost smell like a tea tree note in there. Maybe like a lime. Not sure. I mean you guys know I'm a cologne guy so anything that smells great is amazing. Uh, and so this is really thick and so I'm hoping that I can Figure out what's going to work best for me. Uh, the clay is more of a cream. Uh, it's more runny. Uh, so I'm not really sure uh, how that's going to work. Because I kind of find anything that's more like a lotion. Uh, it never really works. And my hair kind of feels like it's just greasy but without the hold. And then it's just flopping all over like a mop. And so we'll see. I, I find that um, by layering maybe the sea salt spray... Uh, maybe the putty and then maybe if I have to a little gel on top of that uh, what my goal is to try to do is see if any of these products are actually going to help to thicken my hair a little bit uh, maybe plump up the hair follicle a little more where I can feel a difference and maybe notice a difference so again guys uh, that's the Pete and Pedro products that were sent to me the, the sea salt spray the clay and the putty uh, there's lots of different products on their on their site uh, they do tend to be a little bit on the pricey side like a container of this putty at two ounces is $19 uh, which is quite a bit, but you know, if you compare it to going into the store, getting you know Axe products or all the different products you can get out there. Uh, again, whatever works for you. I'm hoping that this works for me because if it does, it's always going to be worth the cost to have something that really works well. Um, you know, it's 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 just like going, you know, like you know, going. You can go to get your hair cut by. You know, I've been going to the same girl to cut my hair for. I mean, at least I'd say at least 15, 16 years, and you know, she's always consistent. Uh, you do pay more, you know, I mean, you can go into like a Great Clips or somewhere like that, get your hair cut for less, but to me, I think it's worth it to have somebody just know exactly what you want, go in there, you don't have to say anything, and it's just, it's the same every time, and I found consistency is really difficult uh, to get out of really anybody in life, uh, businesses, restaurants, products, I mean, you name it, it's really um I complain all the time about consistency of restaurants. I mean, it's never, you go there one time, it's amazing. You order the next time, it's like, what is this? So when I do find places that are consistent with the service and, and the product quality, um, I do come back, and even if it's more. So if these products, you know, I mean, if a product makes you feel better about yourself, and when you walk out the house, you, you feel good and you feel better. Like if I walked out the house right now, went to a restaurant, I wouldn't feel very good about myself. But I know after I get cleaned up, I know after I get my hair cut next week, I'm going to feel like a million bucks. Uh, but And that's why any product that, again, makes you feel better or and helps you, I think, uh, is is worth every every penny. Um, 
within reason, of course. So I'm excited to try these products once again. The Sea Salt Spray, Pete and Pedro, uh, the Putty, and of course the Clay. And I do like, you know, there's a lot of hype you're going to see on the internet with, you know, brands and, you know, everybody when they're reviewing products or sharing products, you know, a lot of people think, well, what's in it for the person reviewing it? And it's true, you know. I mean, when I review products, there are things in it for me, uh, depending on the product, depending on the agreement I have with the company. You guys know I review and Victor Watch, as I always tell you, if you click the links, it does help support the channel. I do get small commission on things that are sold. Uh, Pete and Pedro, I don't have an agreement with. I do have an agreement with Tiege Hanley, but I've never actually sold any products by Tiege Hanley or, uh, um, or referred any products by Tiege Hanley. But I'm always honest with you guys 100% whether I think a product is yay or nay. And for the most part, I've had pretty good luck. Um, I like I will say the Tiege Hanley skincare system that I've used, that they sent me a couple uh, sample kits already. I love it, you know. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It's something that I will subscribe to at a later date. Um, you know, I mean, when you wash your skin with that, when you use their moisturizer, I mean, they are really good products. And, you know, a lot of times that people say you get what you pay for, and sometimes, most of the time that's true, but not all the time. Sometimes you can get really great. I uh, like the Cremo brand. Cremo, I mean, I love their products. Their, their, um, their um, what do you call it? Their, their face, their, um, their bar soaps are amazing. Their, um, I love their shampoo. I mean, their, uh, their uh, shave balm is amazing. Uh, definitely, if you haven't checked them out, check them out. I will put links in the description for all this stuff. Uh, but that's about it, guys. I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, more of a personal video. I put myself out there a little more. Um, I love doing this. I love sharing these products with you guys. And, you know, if this benefits me, maybe it'll benefit you. Maybe you're dealing with the same kind of issues when it comes to, uh, you know, your hair or, or your skin or, or, or anything. And, and like I said, uh, I'm always upfront and honest. I'm always real and transparent. And uh, anything that I find that could be of a benefit to myself and uh, any of you folks, I definitely will share and give you guys uh, my thumbs up or thumbs down. So stay tuned for more. I'm going to come back next week and re-review this product. I am going to give you guys my first initial uh, review after I've hopped in the shower, get cleaned up. And I will uh, upload that video after I upload this video in the next couple days. So, all right, guys, have a wonderful day. If I didn't, I obviously didn't catch you guys. I didn't put anything up for Thanksgiving, but happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays coming into the Christmas season. Uh, lots of Invicta watches flying out the door and lots of great deals out there. So let me know if I can be a uh, benefit in any way. I'm going to work at trying to get a coupon code with this company if, if I do find uh, that the products are worth it. And, uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned for more. Have a wonderful day and take care.